Astron Tech pole position went to Dylan O'Keefe, but he won't start from that position today. It'll leave the front row to Will Brown, the man who wrapped up the series at Sandown just a few weeks ago. Tony Delberto and Aaron Cameron, his best qualifying result of the season starts out of four. Nathan Morecambe and Andre Heimgartner on the next row. An amazing season it's been so far. Will we have a new winner? Or will Will Brown drive off into the distance? The lights go out and we get underway here at the Ben Motorsport Park in South Australia. Tony Delberto has got the best start here. He'll lead the field down to turn number one. It wasn't the great start for Will Brown. He's going to get swamped here as he and Tony Delberto go side by side. They fan out to three and four wide into turn number one. Oh, they tiptoe their way through. They stay side by side. But everybody looks like they're safely through. And Brown come back from all of that. Will Brown gets back on top. Leads them from Tony Delberto. Nice start by his teammate Nathan Morgan. Look at this. Elbows out. The VW of Aaron Cameron. Looks aggressive. Dives under brakes there and he'll get it done. Up into third. And Chris Pitha wants a slice of the action too. He'll make up one spot and all of a sudden Morecambe loses two because Jordan Cox gets the job done as well. As around the backside of the circuit, Pitha tries the outside. Can't be done here at the Ben Motorsport Park. You're in car with Andre Heimgartner. That's Jason Bright ahead as he works his way through the field. He's up in eighth position so far. Lap one of 14. Look at this. Angelo. Great move by Chelsea Angelo and that's on the Kangan Institute car. Teammate Andre Heimgartner. And looked like to do it with ease as well there on the run between 12 and 13 back in car with a triple seven so Angelo on her return moves ahead of Heimgartner in this one puts herself up into the top 10 position now it's a round to complete the first up. oh, oh it's there. there's cars everywhere one into the gravel it's Angelo Heimgartner also involved in this one and Liam McAdam what has happened there this might tell us what happened down at the second last turn, oh, McAdam came in. He was on the grass before he got to the final turn and into the Dare Ice Coffee entry. There's the replay for the Kangan Institute car. And he was trying to turn in the end. He faced the field in the wrong direction. Come look at this. Dalberto trying to get as much warmth and temp as possible into those tyres. Russell Ingle defensive in the background there in the Castrol entry. He's got a bit of a guard flapping up there on his Melbourne Performance Centre Audi, car number 100, as we go back to green flag racing here at the Ben Motorsport Park. There he is with Moff just behind him as the field settled back in. Look at the margin. Brown has got already. It's out to over a second alone from Tony Dalberto. Aaron Cameron with Chris Pitha on the tail of him and the Renault Megane as they work their way down to the hairpin and look behind him. Here comes Jordan Cox looking for the move and he's got the field like Morecambe and Bright just behind him here. Aaron Cameron looking good in that VW chasing down Tony Dalberto. It's helped Will Brown. He's got the fastest lap of the race so far and a two-second almost advantage over Dalberto. I remember last time we were here in June, we had changeable conditions, but primarily it was freezing cold here with damp conditions. We had a wet race here on the Saturday. So the first real dry race we've had at the Ben Motorsport Park. Dalberto and Cameron arguing over second and third here. As we now look at Cameron, Dalberto covers him off oh, nicely, damage. parks it down the middle. That is a lot of damage to car 62 on the passenger side of the Astra down there in the pits. Well, Cameron thought about it on Dalberto, but all those years of experience from Tony D covered him off nicely. We're working lap seven, halfway home here. Through the backside of this Ben Motorsport Park course. Oh, Someone's off in the dirt. Is that Pitha? Maybe it was Chris Pitha. He's pushing hard in that Renault Megane. Morecambe's got speed on his side, but he now the steers off. Off goes Nathan Morecambe. The right front's gone. The wheel parting company with the front of his car that is out of this race. Meantime, Aaron Cameron to the inside, change of position. He goes up to second now, and now Tony D will do the fighting here as they complete another lap. Oh, Chelsea Angelo, good to see you out of the car. That was a huge hit. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Look, I'm a little bit sore on my left-hand side and my rib on the right, but it's just a shame because we were up to probably like eighth or ninth at the time, and then next minute we get an absolute shunt into the second last corner. I mean, we're all professional racers. Shit like this should not be happening at all. Heading for the chequered flag. And it's all done, all clear. Well done to Will Brown. Banks another victory in that Hyundai. What a year it's been. Aaron Cameron, that'll be huge for him in that fight for second position. As we pick up the revs and get set for the charge to turn number one, we get underway. 14 laps, great start from Moffat already. He's rounded up two cars in the Renault Megane, the black and yellow entry. 
We jump in car with Tony D'Alberto as Aaron Cameron looks to cover him off on the run down to turn number one. He defends the line towards the first turn. Will Brown will lead us in. John Martin on the outside. Oh. They're three wide. They can't do this, surely. Martin gets a bit crossed up coming into that first turn. The rear stepping out on the car. Coming through Jordan Cox. Nice move on the Honda in the Alfa Romeo. Good work. Looks like the triple seven of Andre Heimgartner falling back into the clutches there of, of Martin. There's a little bit of a gap to that VW in front of them. Tim Brook got the wheels on the dirt on the outside of turn oh. number five. That's McDougall with this from the outside of Pitha, who's on the charge from 19th on the grid. That's the second of the Gary Rogers Motorsport repaired. Renault Magans won't get the job done there. He'll lose two positions. There's the field hustle for positions on coldish tyres. We'll jump in Cohen Andre Heimgartner through the turn seven, eight, nine, and ten complex on lap number one you can see the Peugeot a couple of cars but he's made up some ground so already Aurelien Comte is on the charge everyone talking mad about how different the cars are on our second visit to the Ben Motorsport Park we're all still learning in the early part of the season when we visited here now armed with all that knowledge armed with all that experience they are loving being back for a second crack at this venue. Setups are different to our first first time here. So too is Aaron Cameron, Rusty on the charge. He gave Will Brown a big hurry up there at turn 14. And now arriving on the scene is Jordan Cox. Cameron on the defensive and making Jordan Cox go the long way around as Will Brown gets a slight margin. Four tenths. Yes, not much of a margin, but it's breathing space. A swarm of turbocharged four-cylinder engines. Lights on for Nathan Morgan as he comes through. Cameron trying to defend Jordan Cox. In the background there, Compte and Dylan O'Keefe fighting away. So O'Keefe's not been able to clear the Frenchman. A busy little battle pack, isn't it, though? Pitha to the inside of Alexandra oh. Whitley. Just enough. I mean, Pitha was taking no for an answer at turn number three. Gets the job done. Puts himself now up towards the back of the top ten. He's on the charge to Russell Ingle. Morecambe working him down to turn six. Here comes the Rondo HMO customer racing car to the inside. And Ingle just gives him enough of an in, but will have the better line. But superior drive from Morecambe gets the job done at the hairpin. For He's the lead. Familiar with. And now changing the lead at the front here with Aaron Cameron. So that's happened coming through the backside of the circuit. So the Victorian gets ahead of the man from Toowoomba. And now he'll do the chasing aboard car number 30. Chains oh. on, that's the story. So Brown makes a blue. Look at that for a save. Great work by Will Brown. As we keep an eye on Dalberto with Moffat squirming under brakes in the Renault Magan. We join him at the right time as he climbs the curbs. Did he get it done? I would say yes. Now, now, remember, all of these things we're just watching affect the fight for second in the championship. Tony D'Alberto was second in the points coming into today's two races because Cameron is fighting for second as well. Cameron leads the race. That's all really positive stuff for Aaron Cameron. Now it's Morecambe to the inside of Martin, thanks to Aaron Noonan down in pit lane. So Morecambe sets up John Martin and closes the door nicely. Textbook move there at the hairpin. I reckon the heart rate was up there too. It looked like <laughs> the Hyundai was dancing. He was maxed out under brakes. One of those calls where you go, will I, won't I, will I, won't I? And he went, yep, I'm going to send it. Look at him, he sends it in here. Aaron Cameron has the lead, 1.92 seconds. Back to Will Brown and Jordan Cox. Oh, Brown gets sideways. That hurts him. Jordan Cox, opportunity here on the outside. Not ideally placed for the left-hander, but Jordan senses an opportunity. And so does James Moffat. Brown's battling a little bit here. Watching John Martin battling oh. the VW Golf. A little bit of contact between the pair of them there as they came into that first turn from Will Brown. Here we go. Back with Moff now. Well, time is running out. Lock up from the front. Was that enough to open? No, it won't be. We'll stay in car with Moffat down the bottom of the hill here. Through turn 15. Across at 16. But Aaron Cameron looking good here for his first ever victory. What a great story for this youngster, as we said, has come through karting. We wondered what sort of talent he had. The team were in, no doubt about it. Aaron Cameron gets the win in car sales TCR Australia and eyes up second place in the championship. He can do no more than that, Matt. That's the perfect play. This young man is off the back of a breakthrough win in this sport, but little time to enjoy it. You've got to focus on this incredible fight for second now. Yeah, last race of the year. Really want to round it up with another win, but uh, also the main goal, beat Tony D. Pull the pin and go for it. Pretty much, yeah. Have a crack. Hopefully it comes off.
Here's the final round of the championship. Set for a start now. Can Aaron Cameron get second in the series? Will Brown, with those clutch issues, doesn't struggle off the line. He's away in the Honda, in the Hyundai, I should say. But it's the Hondas. Look at them in the background. Look at this fight here. <laughs> the Alfa Romeo of Jordan Cox. Cameron's been swamped here. Cox will lead them from the Renault. Brave stuff from Moff. Aurelien Comte in the Peugeot. P11, I think, at the moment. I'm worried about where the Hondas are at the same time, Matt. I'm trying to figure out what that means in championship terms. Oh, sideways again. Was that Pippa in the Renault? So they're all attacking on cold tyres here. We, we have a selection of photographers, and I'm sure they were down at turn number one with arguably the picture of the year just then. They were four and five wide heading down to turn number one, but when the dust settled, Jordan Cox leads this motor race down the backside of the circuit for the first time in the final race of this year's Car Sales TCR Australia Series. You're watching the Peugeot 308 of Frenchman Aurelien Comte coming through the field now. He's up to 11th position already. Tony D'Alberto was in position 10 the last time through. Here's Ingle. Hustles out wide. That's Allen. Let's get an update, Cam. Jason Bright has a broken anti-roll bar. Jason Bright, so he is not going to be a contender in this race. Oh, it's all happening, isn't it? In the final race of the year, through turn number one, Cameron about to be passed by Andre Heimgartner through turn two and three. But, but they'll be telling him, they'll be keeping him up to speed on the radio at Melbourne Performance Centre about where his rival is. Tony Delberto in 15th. Noons? Rusty, you're exactly on the money. That's exactly what they've done at Melbourne Performance Centre. They know where Delberto is. They know that he doesn't need to fight with Heingartner or Comte used behind in that Peugeot. They've told him you just need to run where you are and you'll get a job done. Cox to the top here. James Moffat in tow. They come back down the hill here at the Bend Motorsport Park. So, Dalberto has gone up to 12th position. Well, Aaron Cameron is 7th. The gap is 10 points between the two of advantage. To Cameron oh. off the track is Russell Ingle. And that's at the top. It was high speed for the Castro Melbourne Performance Audi. Oh, wow. That's on the circuit. Trying to pick up how far up the circuit it is towards the top of the hill there. That's on that little short straight between turn 13 and 14. Here's the Actron Air replay, and we catch it as the Castrol car was spinning out of control across the grass here. But now Morecambe for second place on Moffat. Great job by Nathan Morecambe. Moff's better position for the next corner. Gets the elbows out and retains P2. Terrific. Oh, man. More dramas now for Moffat. We saw him slowing as we went to Aaron Noonan in the pits, and now the car has come to a stop. It's off the circuit. It's on the GT circuit here. Will Brown holding on to that fourth place. Aaron Cameron ideally would love to clear Will Brown. That might help him. Just a little bit more breathing space in the fight for second. Brown's not going not gonna to give him that easily. Particularly with Nathan. Oh, off goes! Off goes Jordan Cox! Jordan has left the track in the Alfa Romeo in the lead. Nathan Morecambe leads here at the Bend Motorsport Park. Is that a failure on the front left? It was limping down as he went across the track. Actron Air replay now. In car with Andre Heimgartner. That's Aaron Cameron ahead. And a triple seven. Wow. Makes the move, so that's a big change. He goes up in a fourth spot with that one. And that means that Cameron is only one place in front of Tony Delberto. Oh boy, Noons, this is building. It is. I've just ducked into Melbourne Performance Centre. Blake Smith and Troy Russell are here. I don't want to dive in. I know Blake's busy here. Is that your car, car two, that's off song? Yeah, he's reported a loss of power. So at the moment, just trying to bring it home. That'll probably hand uh, P2 to Tony D. But that's the way it is. It's about his body. He would have his bad luck earlier in the year, and we've got ours now. 50,000 bucks is on the line for them to finish runner-up in the series. This has been an amazing year. It's got a few twists and tails left, huh, boys? Great work, Noons. Man, our hearts sank here. Uh, here we go. So Cameron fighting, fighting with Tony Delberto, but it, it's with one arm behind his back, as you've just heard. Delberto will get back in front. That move could be for 50 grand cash and second in the series. Can you believe it? Hyundai is likely to wrap up the year with a first and third in race 21 of 21 for our inaugural year. Tony Delberto in fifth place.
and looking like sealing second for the season. We'll wrap up a beautiful first year in this sport with Nathan Morecambe taking it out at the Ben Motorsport Park. Well done to Chris Pither in the Renault. And here is your champion, Will Brown, for season 2019. And now he can officially celebrate the awarding of the champion trophy to Will Brown from HMO Customer Racing. <laughs> It's time to celebrate, gentlemen. The podium is yours.